بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد اللهم افتح لي في أبواب الجنان وأغلق عني في أبواب النيران ووفقني في لتلاوة القرآن يا منزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليكم my dear brothers and sisters أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بعدد ما أحاط به علمك وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا وشفيع ذنوبنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد صلوات الله عليه وسلامه عليه وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين سيما بقية الله في العالمين روحي وأرواح العالمين لتراب مغدمه الفداء The belief of the Savior from Allah سبحانه وتعالى the last awaited savior is a belief that uh, religions they share this ideology but there are obviously differences in shia islam especially you find that uh, through the prophet وسلم, and the ahlul bayt وسلم, they have built a structure of belief very uh, fundamental belief uh, in regard to the 12th Imam in, the, in, the, in regard to the last awaited Savior there are ayats in Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, talking about uh, the, the belief that there will be a day in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives justice right brings justice with his, uh, with his Imam, the one who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down to guide, to bring justice. One of the places in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about this belief is in Surah Al-Qasas, ayah number 5. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim, wa nuridu anna munna, على الذين استضعفوا في الأرض. We have wanted, we Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we have intended to bestow our favor to whom, to those people that they've been oppressed by other tyranny, by other powerful people. So the first group of people, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is talking about is those people that they've been oppressed in this world. So, a world full of injustice. So those people that they want to live a good life, a healthy life, life, a lawful life. And those people that they couldn't attain power from this world because of the injustice, because of the inequality in power, inequality on wealth, right? Injustice in, uh, uh, in balancing the power, right? So you find that some people, some group of people, a race sometime, a religion in some country, in some area, in some region, they cannot even get into the system, right? because of the racism structure, the racist, racism system that they live in, right? So those people that they are good people, 
but that they've been always oppressed by other tyranny. Right? So Allah wanted, He said, uses want, I want, either you like it or not, right? That's Allah. He uses when you read, when he's, he talks about the infallibility of Ma'asumina alayhi salatu wasalam, innama yuridullahu, right? Indeed, we want, right? We wanted to purify this family. Either you like it or not. That's not your job. That's me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to do that, right? This is the same thing too. We want, we intended to, uh, to, the, to give favor, which favor is that justice, right? That uh, power, right? On the hand of people that they used to be oppressed by others. And remember, we have a narration that uh, the hukuma, the government of Imam al Mahdi, Sharif, they never oppress other people. And Imam Mahdi Sharif would be tough on his governors, so tough on his governors officials that they work for the government of Imam al-Mahdi. Imam would be so tough on them because they have responsibility, right? But at the same time, he would be so kind to ordinary people because those, those are the people that they need to serve, right? In a good and functional government, Officers, governors, what they do is they are servant of public, right? They're all working and giving service to public. And the in the government of the Khilafah of Amir al Mu'minin Ali alayhi salatu was salam, when you read Najul Balagha, you find that how Amir al Mu'minin was tough on the governors they he used to send in different cities, right? So these people, they've been oppressed, right, through history. But when they get the power, they don't oppress others. No, because they're muttaqi people, right? They're pious people. They have fear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? They have leader such as Imam Mahdi, Allah ta'ala, Fajr sharif So the first group in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning is those people that they've been oppressed. And then he said, وَنَجْعَلَهُمْ أَئِمَّةِ And we, right, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, would make those people that they've been oppressed أَئِمَّةِ أَئِمَّةِ means imams. People that, uh, other people, they come and follow. That's called أَئِمَّةِ وَنَجْعَلَهُمُ الْوَارِثِينَ And I, Allah, Allah makes those people that have been oppressed, leaders, and also inheritors. It means this government from the very beginning was for them. And they are inheriting this government, this Khilafat, right? I, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would place these people as inheritors. They inherit one after another because they are the most purified uh, lineage. Clearly, in this ayah, you can find that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about uh, on top of uh, all, all, all those people that they can be subject uh, in this ayah is the Ahlul Bayt, right? Imam Ali alayhi salatu wassalam. Imam Ali alayhi salatu wassalam was a warrior, right? We all know that. But because of the situation, because of the, uh, the interest of, uh, of Muslim Ummah, he couldn't go out and start a war, right? And the Prophet وسلم, he asked him to not, right? He asked him to have patience, indoor patience. But they did 
uh, oppressed Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, right? Someone who has the most knowledge, someone who has, uh, who has the most taqwa, someone who is the closest companion of Prophet, in, of Prophet, someone who is the first one who became Muslim. Someone, if he wasn't there, Islam couldn't spread that fast, right? Someone was the helper of the Prophet And everyone knew that no one uh, uh, attained the knowledge of Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. It was so clear for everyone. Whoever was in Medina couldn't understand that Ali is different. Ali's knowledge, you cannot compare to anyone else. There's a huge difference. So why is that this Ummah, they leave him and they choose another person? I don't want to debate, right? It's just a rational thing. Why you should go to someone else that you know that has less knowledge, right? Has less knowledge about the Islam, has less knowledge about the, uh, the, the ideas and the ideals of Islam. Because obviously Amir al-Mu'mineen was always with Prophet after all. And even these individuals, they don't compare themselves with Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wasalam. So there are the people that they've been oppressed, right? If, you, if, if someone comes to you and take your right, so you've been oppressed. And Allah would come, and based on this ayah and other ayah, will bring justice, right? Shows to the humanity that what, is, what does justice mean? And some scholars, they call it Qiyamatul Sukhra. The minor uh, Qiyamah, the, when Imam al-Mahdi comes, they call it the minor Qiyamah. Because with his coming, people understand what was the justice, right? And what is the justice? We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this blessed day and tonight, inshallah, on this blessed night to hasten the reappearance of Imam al we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring relief and prosperity for those countries that they're suffering, Muslim countries that they're suffering. Wassalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن علي ولي أشهد أن علي أن حجة الله حي على صلاة حي على صلاة I 
وحيا على الفلاح حيا على الفلاح حيا على حي على خير العمل الله أكبر الله أكبر لا